Good afternoon. It was taken down during the 2020 protests, but in just a few days, a controversial Juan de Oñate statue will return to public viewing in Española, drawing both criticism and defense of the figure from New Mexico's past. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth has both sides. He's live in the Newsplex. Rio Riva County is spending more than $100,000 to get a statue of the Spanish conquistador out of storage and post it in front of county offices. That sparked a protest today. Oñate is the direct symbol of slavery and murder. They decided to get this statue that they had in hiding, build this pedestal, and now they're going to place it here as a show of their political um, power, I guess, from their perspective, but from my perspective, corruption. While Oñate is remembered as a key Spanish leader in New Mexico, others remember him as a brutal conqueror who massacred hundreds of Acoma Native Americans in the late 1500s. The statue was removed from the front of a county building in 2020, but the county manager recently revealed a plan to reinstall the statue near the sheriff's office. Protesters say the commission hasn't heard their voice opposing the statue's reappearance. Commission Chair Alex Naranjo, who's helped in the relocation effort, he says the statue is an important, an important part of New Mexico history. What really irks me and bothers me is that we're listening to a few radicals that are trying to change a system that we've lived with for 400 years. And to me, that's very personal. It was there before. I mean, what, what, what am I going to do with that statue? What are we going to do with that statue? Naranjo says, says he believes a majority of his constituents are on his side. The statue is set to go up in front of a Rio Riba County building Thursday. Opponents say they will be back to be, they will back to, they will back to, will be back protesting when it happens. Back to you. All right, Chandler, thank you. The county manager tells News 13 in a statement that they hope it will not be vandalized because it will be next to the sheriff's office and in a well-lighted area.